Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. I'm joined by Jay Smelser. Jay, you and your wife are raising two boys. What are some of the things that you guys are doing to help them become men of God? Hey Jay, it's great to see you and thanks for this opportunity. So, you know, obviously as a, uh, as a sinful man who's still trying to achieve the goals in life of being a great father, um, you know, I'm not perfect, but I think we do a very good job. And part of what we really strive for is being intentional with our children. We realize that we are raising young men, and now I have an 18-year-old, so man, who are surrounded by a culture that's very me-centric and very focused on gratification, self-gratification, and it's hard. You know, we're in the world, but we're not supposed to be of the world. And so that's something that we try and teach our children, but yet everyone has the desire to fit in. Everybody wants to be loved and accepted by someone. And typically in the teenage years, it's definitely your peers. So part of that is just helping our children understand that they need to be friends with um, Christian young men or young women who are going to help and encourage them, but they also need to be friends with non-Christians. Uh, our goal with them and our discussions with them daily is we are here to make an impact on others. And our goal is to try and have an impact, hopefully on a daily basis, or at least on a weekly basis in somebody else's life. And you can't really do that if you're always surrounded by, you know, Christian friends, but you need non-Christian friends, but you can't be overtly influenced by them. So we encourage them and remind them often, you know, through prayer, through uh, Bible study time, and just hopefully surrounding themselves with some Christian friends who are going to be like-minded through the church, uh, through Sunday school, and things like that. Um, I think another way is that my wife, Lori, and I strive very hard to model what it looks like to be a Christian. Our children are watching what we're doing. And it's important that if we're telling them, don't do these things, do these things, you know, as the Apostle Paul talked about all through, you know, his writings, you know, don't be this, but do be this. And that's what we strive for. We try to be doers of the word. We fail, certainly. Um, but I think that is very important as Christian parents that we have to be intentional about trying to be a good witness, not only to non-Christians, but also model for our children how important it is to be godly, both in the home and outside of the home. Yeah, and that's such a good word, just about the modeling. I mean, when you have teenagers, it, you would think that they don't care, they don't look at you, they don't want anything to do with you, but, but families, I, they're watching. They are watching you. And so, Jay, thank you so much. Very much. For that.